No one said that the path is going to be easy. And it's not. We know life is rough and we know there will be pain and whether that pain is at the hands of an enemy or at the hands of nature or time or disease, there will be pain. That's the way life is. You have been disappointed over and over and over again. And every time you try, nobody notices. And every time you try, you come up short. Sickness is cyclical. It comes around, it goes around. You're well for a little while, and then it's the same thing all over again. But this time it's only worse. Because now, not only are you back where you started, but you have less hope that it is ever going to be different because you've cycled through it one more time just to realize, well, I guess I'm just a cynical person. Well, I guess I'm just a negative person. I guess nobody in my family was meant to go to college. Sickness becomes normal to you and it starts to be easier for you to just accept the condition than to challenge it. Because to challenge the condition means to risk disappointment. And some of us have tried, got blocked, tried, got blocked, tried, got blocked. And now people see you and they assume that you don't care. No, I care. I cared and I cared so much, but they didn't care back. And I tried so hard and I still got looked over. And don't you know it's hard when your expectation has been damaged by disappointment? It's a slow damage. It's a slow tearing of the muscle fibers. It's a slow deterioration of your hope by disappointment. It is not one event that creates it. It's over and over. I tried and I tried and I smiled and I stayed and I disciplined and I showed up and I didn't care. And, and the man has finally gotten to a place where he is tired of trying. You might even feel like there's no hope. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Keep fighting. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But that doesn't happen on its own. You have to choose to get stronger. Keep fighting. Keep going and don't give up because the only real failure is actually giving up. And if you don't give up, you will win. See, life is rough, ladies and gentlemen. It's rough. Things that's going to happen to you in life, ladies and gentlemen, make it okay. I can change how I respond to it. I can become upset, nervous, tense about it, weak about it, or I can say, it's okay. Don't go through life feeling like you're powerless. Victims are people that are powerless. You're not powerless. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. That's all it is. That's not who you are. That's just a perverted use of your power that you aren't satisfied with. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. See, the only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That no matter what you do to me, how cold and callous you are to me, lack of compassion, lack of sensitivity, how cruel cool you might be to me, you're not going to change me. There are some things that I went through this year that I didn't like. There are some things that I went through this year that hurt. They hurt like hell. I'm not saying that I would have chosen them if I had had the opportunity. But now that I've been through it, there is something that I learned through, what I went through, that made me who I am. There's a purpose for it. I'm not a hostage. You have to make a decision that every experience is my education. And I'm gonna discover the opportunity for me to grow and for me to get better. I'm telling you, I've already made up my mind that I know I will fall down. I know that I will stumble, but I already see myself getting back up. Therefore, I'm never down. I'm either up or getting back up. I will learn from this thing.